Okay, let's start with job, uh, kind of an easier one. Let's think back to when we were maybe graduating college and which job we should take. So maybe let's put in chat, how do you pick if you have multiple offers? What is the thing that you should use to, to pick the job? Okay, pros and cons, your gut, <laughs> Michael Bloomfield like it, prestige, personal values, okay. So how are you comparing these two different jobs? Yeah, alignment, really nice, okay. So th these are nice inputs from chat. How do people actually pick? It turns out that the job with the highest pay is the one that most typically wins, right? That's the research, what the research shows. And even if we're thinking about com comp, we should probably think about it on more than that level, right? We should probably include benefits because there's certainly a world where benefits, you know, in one job, you know, let's could say there's better health care. Your total comp might be better uh, with a job with a job with with a lower salary. So that's one one piece. The next piece is just thinking about, of course, what, who's the manager? Who, what's the team like? What's the size of the company and potential for advancement? These are all relevant things. Now let's say that, um, sorry, one quick question for my co-hosts. Can we let in all the people in the waiting room because the pop-ups keep coming up? Can we just change that default? That would be wonderful. Sorry, folks. Okay, let's keep going on this and assume that there are multiple cities, right? If we think back to college, very often we got offers from more than one city. How do we think about that? That changes things a lot, a lot more complexity there. We should think about cost of living, public transport, right? Am I going to have to buy a car? Or do I have other friends moving there? What's the unemployment rate? These are all relevant things. You know, I put gender ratio here. This is kind of a, a funny one. We don't think about this traditionally kind of at all. But you think about a city like San Diego with high male, uh, uh, more men than women, or a city like New York with more women. This actually changes the dating dynamics significantly. The way people can measure this, by the way, is on which date couples first have sex. Any guesses when, when there are more women and more men versus more men, what happens to that on which date they do it? Let's put it in the chat. Curious to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give exact uh, numbers, but basically what happens is when women are more in power, the date shifts to a later date when they first have sex, and when men when there's more women um, in the dating market and therefore men have more power, uh, the couples have sex at an earlier date. So these are things. This is just an illustration of. Gender ratio is probably an important consideration. We just don't think about it. There's just so many things to consider when we're looking at a job offer that we tend to simplify and we just use salary. This is the easy simplification rule of thumb that we use. Like I said, the data kind of shows it. Um, and this is this principle of like, whenever we have complexity in the world, we don't like this. We use heuristics, we simplify, we use kind of rules of thumb to think about hard decisions.